Hello? Hello. Assalamu alaikum. What? Alaikum assalam. So you are calling us to uh, to share with us in the program. What do you like to say, Mr. Faris or Faraj? Well, um, I listen to many discussions and with you on YouTube, yes. and uh, most of the times you insult the people. Uh, you talk in bad ways. And like what? Like I what? Give, myself, me, give me an example. Yeah. Like what? Like what? Number one is you call everyone Abdul. Why you well, call okay. everyone? Okay, hold, hold on, hold on. Isn't it Abdul? You are, aren't you the Abdul of Allah? Look, I'm Abdul of Allah. Yeah, but we have names, and okay, when no. we talk with no, somebody, no, 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 no. You you're a prophet. You're a prophet. Name. You're a prophet. Call you Abdul. Allah called you Abdul. Anta Abdullah. You are the Abdul of Allah. So why you are upset from calling you the slave of Allah? Look, I, th I thought I'm you would be, upset, I thought I thought the, you would the, be the proud. right way. Look, 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 CP. The right way the, when you no, talk no, with somebody, right you, you have prophet, a nice behavior. You, right? What nice you behavior? Talk, so you should I call kindly. you Mr. Mr. Farage? Far far should I call you yeah. Najes? Should I call you Najes? <laughs> You go on. You go on. No, no. Okay. No, 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 no. You go. You go on. You go on. This is the irony. You go on. Call us Najis, which means filthy. The Not everybody. The no, 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 no. Look, everybody. Let me show you. Kind of people Let, who did no, call no, 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 my friend. Don't, don't, uh, don't. Here we go. Huh? Here That's we go. That's the truth. No. That's the truth. Christians are people of the book. Am I right or not? My friend, is the Christians are kufar or not? No, not every Christian is a kufar. That's no, not every true. Christian, every Christian we, who believe in the Trinity is a Christian. Correct. Well, well, listen. There are many yes, different Christians. Yes or no? Some believe in the Trinity. No, no, those some are not Christians. No, those Trinity, are not Christians. Right? So, okay. So you are saying the one who believes in the Trinity is Najis, correct? I don't say Najis. You, you he have the, a different. The he Quran, has a different. The Quran, look, look, look. says the so. Najis, okay. my, look, look. In my eyes, the Najis is a Catholic. Who cares about your eyes? Doesn't who believe in any God. Okay, no. The Catholic. You see, let me teach you your, uh, your religion. The Quran says, "Laqad kafar al-ladina qalu anna al-Masih thalitha thalatha." Those who they say the Messiah is one of the three, huh? Is okay, okay, but, but so why you are saying why you are why agree Faraj, why you are Trinity lying why you are lying not always in why, Christian why, theology. why you are saying that uh, in your eyes in your eyes those only who they are not the Christians or don't you know they, they believe in the, uh, they don't believe in God are kuffar why you are lying to me the Quran who says the Christian, idol worshippers look look kafirs my friends my friend that's my friend the Quran says I just showed you the Quran says kuffar is those who say the Messiah is one of the three. Do you agree with the Quran or not? Are idol worshippers? No, no, no. It says no. The Quran. The are you are you against the Quran? Are you are you against the Quran or with the Quran? I am with the Quran. Okay, so okay, when the Quran says those who say the Messiah is third of the three. Yeah, and I you, who believes in this is an idol worshiper no. and is so we are kafir. so we are nudges thank you very much at nudges i said kafir kafir and nudges are not the same my friend okay, okay. what is that what is the kafir what is the word mushrikeen mean explain to me and mushrik is somebody who have more look at the first thing my my mother language is german so i have a little bit uh, it doesn't matter you know tell me what, okay? the, what the word mushrik means the word mushrik is mean when you have uh, when you have more than one god when you associate more than one god with okay god. we worship it's jesus true. we worship jesus is that weak as mushrik yes or no be honest yeah yes yes so yes. the mushrikeen are nudges so we are nudges why you are why you are lying the quran says we're in the mushrikeen and nudges Look, you ask me a question and I answer you, and I didn't laugh. No, you did not, you know, you are lying. Why you are saying I'm the mushrikeen are, you know, those I, are not I, the Christians? I, I just ask you, I just ask you, who is no. the mushrikeen? Who is the mushrikeen? You say the one who don't worship the, the true God. Okay, Jesus, we worship Jesus. What do you say? Are we mushrikeen? You said yes, but the Quran says the mushrikeen are nudges. So, why you are fooling who? I don't fool anybody. We so why you are why you normal? Why you why you are why why you are why, listen? Why you are not being honest? Then explain to me why you are not being honest. The Quran call us mushrikeen and the mushrikeen are nudges. Yes or no? Not Christians. He calls who no, gives no 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 no. My, my friend, I challenge you. I challenge you to, to to prove it to me that those are not the Christians.
that the who are not the Christians? No, the, you're saying the, 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 the Najis. The, the, the Najis. Are we allowed to go to Mecca? Yes or no? Are we allowed? Okay, hold on. Let me let me let me let me show you. 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 Are we allowed to go to Mecca? Yes or no? No, you are not allowed to go. So to why you are lying? The verse in the front of us says, "Ya ayuhal ladina amanu inna al-mushrikin al-najis." So they cannot enter Mecca. Chapter nine, verse twenty-eight. They cannot enter Mecca. Why? Because they are najis. And I just asked you, can we go to Mecca? You said no. So we are najis. This is why we cannot go to Mecca. So we are filthy. Now you are asking me not to call you Abdul, but you have no problem to call me najis, to call me filthy. Don't you see that this is a hypocrisy? Don't you see that this is hypocrisy? You can you can call me filthy. You can call me the worst of the creatures. I cannot call you Abdul. Abdul, just call, listen, listen, Faraj. Yeah, you're right. Listen, Faraj. You call me, you call me Najis. You call me filthy. You have no problem with it. I call you Abdul. You get upset. I, I was not upset, but if you have a name, you are, I you are the one who mentioned it. I don't. Do, do you think I know the name of the Muslims? What do you mean? If I know your name, I'm saying the Muslims. So Abdul is every Muslim. You are Abdul. I do not know your name. Let, ask you something if you are invited to a so story, listen don't so lie now okay you call me to, you call me to say what we got you busted with the first one we got you busted with the first one the, the islam considered the christians the islam considered the christians najis filthy we got you busted with the first one what the second one okay one moment why is when you talk is everything about i got you busted you because i am here to get you busted you see why i am here to get islam busted and when you defend islam i will get you busted so tell me why you call me people street people talk in the way you do no Muhammad, okay hold on hold on hold on hold on i did not call you filthy so uh, uh, i did not call you filthy as your prophet he called us so this is this is mean your prophet as a street person I did not. I, I did not call you. The Bible calling people bad names too. That's no, not, not bad names. No, not bad names. I, as an example, I just called you liar because you are a liar, and I approve it. Everybody see in the screen. I, everybody see in the screen. I didn't lie. You asked I'm, me something. My friend, my and, friend, listen. Okay? I'm not calling you names. I'm describing who you are. You are a liar, and you. I just just got you busted. Now, what what is okay, next? You want to say? Okay, let's let's go to the second point. See, right. What you want to tell me with the point now? They, we call you ninjas. What, what you want to tell me with this? You are the one who asked me not to call you Abdul. You get insulted from Abdul, but you call me ninjas. Okay, let's say this point is finished, okay? For me, it's not finished because okay. if you So why, talk why you are somebody, calling me? What do you want to say to me? What do you want to say to me? Go, go to the second point. What do you want to say to me? No, I don't. If you talk with somebody, if you're invited to a family as example, and you sit down, you don't call the, the people in Abdul or I don't know what. You call him by the name. <laughs> do you want me to, do you want me to call every Muslim by his name? I do not know their names. I am saying Abdul. Uh, listen, 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 listen. What is the father of Muhammad name? What the what the name, what the name of Muhammad father? Abdullah. Is that his real, is, that, is that his real name? I think so. Yeah. What do you mean you think so? Muhammad father he don't believe in Allah. So how his name is Abdullah, which means Abdul, but yet he don't believe in Allah. I said. How he believe how how he don't believe in Allah, but his name is Ab uh, Abdul, Abdullah. Listen, listen. Allah, Allah was even before. My friend, Muhammad the question the question is very clear. 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 Muhammad, he said. Muhammad, he said, his father will go to hellfire. If he said so, it will be true. All right. So he don't believe in Allah. Do he believe in Allah? At the father of uh, Muhammad. Yes. You just said he doesn't. He don't. He don't believe in Allah. Okay, okay. So how his name is Abdullah? Then how his name is Abdul? But he don't believe in Allah. Explain to me. Because even before Islam was established, uh -huh. Allah was a god. Yeah, Allah was, the, was the Allah was the, th the Thank you, thank you. So Muhammad father was a pagan man, and he believed in Allah. So that's mean he is a pagan, and Islam is a pagan religion. So Abdullah, Abdullah, he is a he is a slave of the pagan god Allah. So Allah is exists before Islam as the God for the pagan. Thank you very much. So Islam is a pagan religion. That's why your prophet he taught you to kiss the black stone. Did you did you, did you kiss the black stone? Did you kiss the black stone or not yet? Did you, did you my friend? Did, did you kiss the black stone or not yet, Mr. Mr. Faraj? Mr. Faraj, Mr. Faraj, came to it. Mr. Faraj, did you kiss the black stone? Yes or no? I didn't. I didn't visit Mecca till now. Okay. Why Muhammad kissed the black stone? Uh, so far, I know the black stone. When it fall on earth, it was white. 
You okay. see? Okay. And uh, from the sense of humankind, it turned black. Okay. I don't know if this is allegorical or it is real, like real life, you know, uh -huh. but the, the black stone doesn't have any meaning like it is a uh, holy or something. So why you, you can say why you can say then? Because Sayyidina Muhammad touched it. Okay, you know what? You know, let, me, let, let, me tell you, let me tell you a story. Listen to me. I, I, let me tell you a story. This is happening for me for uh, for you. I chatted with a website called, oh. I think, Convert to Islam. I asked them the same question. I said, why, why the Prophet, he kissed the black stone, they said, because it's holy. I said, why it's holy? They said, because he kissed it. And this, what you are, say, and this is what you are saying now. Why the Prophet kissed the black stone? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because he kissed it. So why he kissed it? 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 My friend, my friend. My friend, why he kissed it? Why? Listen, if you are, if you are not, if you are not pagan, why you're a prophet asking you to be following him blindly and to kiss a black stone? Look, look, look. When Islam was established in Saudi Arabia, uh -huh. had to convince the people who live there right. to accept Islam. You okay, know? so we like... Had so we, so we had to, wait a moment, let me finish. Uh -huh. Let me finish. I let you finish. Let me finish. So he took some writs who were performed before Islam was established and cooperated them into modern Islam so that the people who lived at the time of Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad could follow him and accept Islam as okay. So, you, so you are saying you are saying that he was hypocrite, lying to them, making them believe that he liked what they like. So he did kiss the black stone just to make them to believe in him. Thank you very much for saying that. So Muhammad was a false prophet. Was built from Abraham. My friend, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just said. I, I, I ask you. I ask you. I ask you. Why he kissed the black stone? Why he kissed the black stone? Why he kissed the black? The question was why he kissed the black stone. You said. You said. Because he wanted people to believe in him. This is what you said. Who is the one who you wanted to believe in him? Because they are, they are pagans. Okay, listen. Okay, okay, listen. You said that the black stone is not holy. Is that correct? Correct, yes. Okay. I have a hadith in front of me, and this is Sahih hadith. It says huh? that the Prophet said, I heard the message of Allah saying, touching them, which means the two corners, the black stone and the Yemeni corner. If any whoever touched them and go around them seven times, Allah will 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 uh, uh, will uh, will erase their sin. Why? Yes, but it's not because he touched the stone no, itself. No, it says it's he said he said no 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 he said he said he said whoever touched them, my friend. We, read read. I, I have it in the screen. Faraj Faraj. I, ha I have the hadith in the front of me in the screen. It says whoever touched them. The hadith is wonderful. Okay, listen, listen. It says. Let me read for you. Let me read for you word by word. Let me read for you word by word. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He said Allah. Uh, Messenger of Allah said, touching them erase the sin. Do you see it in the screen? Touching them, yeah. erase the sin. Okay. Why, if you touch a stone, is going to erase the sin? You just said it is not holy. That's like when Christians uh, uh, Christians had uh, uh, before something that's called oblast. Oblast, that's in German, means when you go to church and you have sins, you pay money and the tr and the sins. We don't believe in this garbage. No, we don't believe in that. What what money? Listen, 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 listen. You 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 know when you talk about Christianity, you want to talk about Christianity. You show me what Jesus said. If you pay money, I will forgive your sin. This is what your prophet said. I can show it to you. I can show it to you from the Quran. I can show it to you from the Quran. Now listen. Why why touching the black stone and the Yemeni corner will erase your sin your prophet he said that are you a pagan are you a, are you a pagan are you a pagan person are you a pagan yes or no look he said so yeah because why he said so Allah told him when you perform this duty why 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 okay so Allah taught him guys Allah taught him Allah taught him if you touch the black stone Allah will forgive your sin why I'm asking you why yeah I told you and I give you an answer why why it's a that Allah described to Muhammad what, okay. and Muhammad told us what to do. Okay, and so what is, is what so, but you just say, tried. but you just say the, the, stone, the stone is not holy. So why if we touch the stone is going to erase our sin? I thought because Allah, I thought, I thought, I like thought, I thought, who, okay, who it's is like the one, who is like the one who erase, who is the one who erase your sin, the stone or Allah? Allah. So Allah why you need, why you need to touch the stone? TV. Why you need to touch the stone? Because it's when you are there, you perform. It's like um, how can I tell you? It's it's 
It's a symbolic ATP. Like this is not symbolic, my friend. This is not my symbolic no more because now it's 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 real. Muhammad saying by touching them, it erased your sin by touching them. Yeah. And you are the one who said you are the one who said everybody heard you that the black stone came down as white as milk and then became because of sin became a black. So black make them sin. Make, sin make them black. So now those are living stones. They are. And actually, there's a hadith that says that the black stone is the right hand of Allah. What do you say about this hadith? Well, then it's a, uh, then it's a bad hadith. Not what, every hadith. What do you mean by hadith? Why, why? Okay, okay, guys, it's a bad hadith. How you know it's a bad hadith? How you know it's a bad hadith? How you know it's a bad hadith? Right away, you don't like it. I mean, here we go. The stone is erasing your sin. So obviously, you are touching the, the hand of Allah. Otherwise, you need to explain to me how by kissing a stone. I did nothing. I just kissed the stone. Well, you okay. know the funny thing. How in the world? How in the world? A stone will forgive my sin. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. <laughs> maybe if you ask a, a scholar. Uh, what is exactly the black stone? He could give you an answer, but most Muslims don't have any connection with these black stones. Only when they go to Mecca, they perform their duty, go around Mecca and touch the stone, and that's my, it. My, my friend, I, 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 I did read all the Muslim scholars, uh, you know, all the Muslim scholars, none of them disagree or dare to disagree with what Muhammad said, and he did, and you know that. So don't tell me we are disconnected. Disagree. And I will not the... disagree. And I will also okay. not disagree. All right. And so, it's a weak point in my eyes. What do you want to say with this? That we are idol worshippers? Obviously you point? are. You bow down to a stone. You pray in the front uh -huh. of a stone. You kiss a stone and, and a stone and forgive and your and sin. And I mean, what is left? What is the left? What is left? And uh, when you uh, go down to a cross uh, my friend, and to Jesus, my friend, you are show me, to show me where, show me where in the Bible it says you should do that. There's no way in the Bible. If, if, if people, there's a huge difference. Listen, 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 listen. There's a huge different there's a huge difference there's a huge difference if somebody listen 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 let me, let me talk there's a huge difference between somebody do something and jesus say to do something so if jesus says to me go and make a status if jesus said to me make a status i will i will make a status and then you can say jesus he said that to you but he did not if jesus kisses status then you can say to me jesus kisses status but this is your prophet kissing his stones teaching you to kiss his stones and saying to you stones will forgive your sin how in the world the stone will forgive sin okay, hold on muhammad he said in the judgment day the black stone is going to have eyes and ears and, and mouth do you believe in that you talk like a machine gun. It's my friend. Yes, I am. A, I, am a, I am a machine gun of knowledge. I am a Wakabidia. You know who I am? I am a Wakabidia of knowledge. Now, listen, answer me. How Muhammad say that the black stone is going to have eyes, mouth, and ears? Is that a correct story or Muhammad making things up? Is this black stone is God? How is going to have ears? How is going to witness for you? How is going to have a mouth? How is going to have a tongue? Is that a stone or a living person? Let me answer. You ask me about the stone, and I answer you. No, you do not. The stone. Have, okay, I, I, I am answering you now. Listen, the stone <laughs> has for us Muslims only one meaning. It's when we go to Mecca, we touch it because Muhammad touched it before. The only one who can forgive our sins is Allah. CP, nobody else. This is what I'm telling you. For thank the you very much for saying that, my friend. Then, uh, then answer Muhammad. You need to explain to me what he meant by touching stones. Your sin is forgiven he meant look what he meant with this is this you can perform this act in front of Allah uh -huh. that Allah sees you want that your sins are forgiven okay why That's why all. why the question why why my sin will be forgiven if I touch a stone this is the question you are going in, in circle why touching of stone you 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 it's my friend my friend read uh, do, 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 you do you have your computer on read I have it on screen people they can see it it says what the touching it's touching them Muhammad said, touching them erase it's sin. It, uh, yeah, see, the, it's a ritual. Not more and not less. It's a ritual. Thank you very much. So Islam is a religion of rituals, not religion of of of, uh, of real belief. So you are saying to me by doing some rituals, God forgive your sin. This is not that's, that, that's not smart. Uh, okay, I'm going now to burn something in front of whatever, and then I will go around the house seven times, and then I will just kiss a stone. And by doing that, I do in the rituals. Allah forgive me. This is very funny. Before you can, okay, before you can do that, you have to have accomplices like Sayyidina Muhammad did. What what Muhammad did? What Muhammad? What Muhammad? What Muhammad did? What Muhammad? He is okay. Let me ask you. Let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Was Muhammad sin forgiven? What was Muhammad? I want to say. Was was Muhammad sin forgiven? Wait a moment. 
Gorky is the mm. only human in history uh -huh. who combined three major aspects, religion, politics, and warfare. Nobody after him or before him. We, have, we have the Pharaoh. We, we have the Pharaoh. Oh, hold on. What are you talking about? We have the Pharaoh who claimed to be God. He have an uh -huh. army. He killed people. He raped women. He enslaved women exactly like your prophet. And many kings who claim to be God, they did the same. They claim to be gods. They kill people. They go in war. And they claim that they are speaking to God. So what are you talking about, my friend? Now, let me ask you, was your prophet sin forgiven, yes or no? Was his sin forgiven or not? Sin. Who sin? Muhammad. Was Is his sin? Was his sin? Was his sin forgiven? Yes. Yes. Of course, Muhammad. Is so why Muslim. Allah? He said to him, "Pray to Allah to forgive your sin." Because he was a mere human, CP. He but you say, no okay, Superman. but uh, no, no, no. Okay, no. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Huh? The, uh, the Quran says. The, the Quran says clearly ask Allah to forgive your sin not your sin is forgiven what do you mean with that which means it's possible maybe the Quran says let us go let us go everybody read with me chapter 48 verse number 2 it says it clearly may Allah forgive your sin may Allah so it's yes. not guaranteed okay Allah, how you say Allah, to me Muhammad Allah. is a prophet how you say to me he is a wonderful man how you say if you if you touch the black stone your sin will be erased and he himself he don't have a guaranteed uh, uh, forgiveness of sin so what do you mean may Allah forgive your sin how this can happen no, look, 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 look. no human sins are guaranteed to be washed away forever because my friend he, he just said he no, just said Muhammad said I just showed you what no, Muhammad said if you touch if you touch go to Mecca, listen one moment even <laughs> after you go to Mecca and touch the stone the mm. stone you go back to your normal life and you will have sins again you know okay, you so cannot go Muhammad to Muhammad touch Muhammad God. touched the stone the okay listen you are the one who said Muhammad is the only one he is the best he accomplished whatever so Muhammad is the highest example for you is, is Muhammad is Muhammad is the highest yes. example for you yes or no for me yes and for all muslims of course okay so yes. how the quran says to him may allah forgive you forgive your sin may allah yeah because allah is the only one who can forgive sins okay is it is it guaranteed is it guaranteed listen listen is it guaranteed is it guaranteed that muhammad will go to heaven no will i go to heaven or will i go to uh, okay but is muhammad is muhammad going to go to heaven or to hell inshallah he will go to heaven what do you mean inshallah is it guaranteed or no Look, there is no guarantee for anything in life. I know you Christians say because uh, Jesus was so you don't you don't guarantee that Allah he if you believe in him and you do is the same as Muhammad if Muhammad himself there's no guarantee for him to go to heaven. So how you believe in Allah? Look, 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 look. there is no guarantee because you have to try to live a good life CP. what good you life what good life this, this is not what you your prophet said this this is not your prophet your prophet said if you live a good life still you will go to hell do you want to show you? sorry what what what, what if what you live you if you live a good life still you will go to hell that's what your prophet said well it's not that easy it's not that easy my friend it's this is not the question easy. this is it's not this is not the question my friend listen carefully faraj listen carefully listen carefully listen carefully this is not what we are talking about you say to me you said to me you said to me if you if you live a good life you will go to heaven is that correct are you sure sorry if you live a good life, which means if you are a good Muslim, you will go to heaven. Is that is that is that correct? If I have if I live as a good Muslim, I will go to heaven. Yes or no? Inshallah, yes. Don't tell me inshallah, yes or no? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. Thank you. You're a prophet. You're a prophet. He did not say that. Your prophet, he said the opposite. He said that a person of you will do the work of of of, of people of heaven until there is a distance between him of a cubit between him and heaven, and then what Allah he wrote for him in his destiny will take over and he will start doing the act of hellfire and he go to hellfire I so your work so your work it doesn't count in islam it is what allah he wrote for you at the end of the day is going to take over so why you are lying to yourself and lying to us and fooling everybody I, saying if i do the good work i will go to heaven it's in front of me it says a person of you if he do the good work of people of heaven even he is almost in the front of heaven a distance of one cubit and a half between him and heaven almost he's getting there he's getting to the door he will open the door and bingo right now what is written by allah is going to take over and now he is going to be going to hellfire what kind of religion this religion is 
بتفكرني بالنسوان في الشارع listen don't زي... don't speak about it but you don't talk about women I, I will show you that Muhammad is the one who like, like a woman don't insult me you're a prophet he used to dress like a woman he would he used to put eyeliner he said I never received Quran except in the women clothes you're a prophet he pissed as a woman he never pisses standing you're a prophet he act as a woman he kissed men between their bellies and you are talking about women shame on you don't change the topic okay. let me answer let me answer you said our prophet pissed like a woman right not don't change the topic first let's finish the first one you, you start it's insulting like me God. says you are talking like women women they are better than your prophet <sighs> well look if you think so it's fine it's your it, no I, it's we can your, prove uh, it we can prove it we can prove it but let's finish this one how he say that what is written by allah will take over you just told me a lie you just told me a lie about islam you told me that if you live a good life as a muslim you will go to heaven inshallah here muhammad saying the opposite saying that a person of you will do the work of allah he will do the, the deeds of muslims he will he almost go into paradise almost 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 there in the door and then what is written by allah will take over why you don't answer me from where you have this information is this a it's in the front of me it's in the front of me in the screen it's in the front of me it says it is a hadith yes it's a hadith it's a sahih hadith it is a sahih hadith look what he said let, let me read for you in arabic let me read for you in arabic i will read for you in english in Arabic, please. All right. He said, بعمل أهل النار حتى يكون بينه وبين وبينها غير باع أو ذراع فيسبق عليه الكتاب فيعمل بعمل أهل الجنة فيدخلها وإن الرجل ليعمل بعمل أهل الجنة حتى يكون بينه وبينها غير ذراع أو ذراع فيسبق عليه الكتاب فيعمل بعمل أهل النار فيدخلها. So. So you didn't understand. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't understand uh -huh. this from the beginning. Okay, explain. And you're touting blah blah blah. Explain. Blah, blah. Explain. Go ahead. Okay. Explain to us. Look, 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 look. Uh huh. First of, first of all, CP. I was always thinking when I was raised up that we Christians and Muslims are kind of brothers. You know. No, we are we not. No, we are not. Great. No, we are not. We are no, we are not. We are, uh, you are a liar. You are a liar because the Islam, Islam says only the believers are brothers to each other. Why you are lying to me? Why you are lying to me? Huh? Wait a moment. Why you are lying to me? Do Islam teach that the Christians and Muslims are brothers? Why you are lying to me? Yes, yes of course. Show me the verse. And it's really Show me the verse. Show me the verse. Show me the verse in the Quran. Show me the verse in the Quran. The Quran, the Quran, the Quran. Let me show you. Let me get you busted. You see, you, you jump you, you jump from a branch to branch like a monkey. The Quran in chapter 9, verse 23 says, you cannot even take your brother, who is your brother, and your father from your blood to be a friend. And now you are telling me Christians and Muslims are brothers. Why you are lying? The Quran, chapter 5, verse number 51 says, take it not, take not the Quran, the Quran, the Quran. Listen, listen, listen. You are a liar and you have no shame. The Quran, chapter 5, verse 51 says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. Okay, wait a minute. Yes or no? Yes, yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Does the Quran in chapter 5, verse 51 says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends? Yes or no? Not friends. So Lying what, what, again. What awliya what, what mean? What awliya mean? What awliya mean? Awliya means is a, a protector. That ah, means you take so you cannot accept. You cannot accept the the police in Germany to be your protectors, right? They are your enemy. Why they are not, why, why they cannot be a protector? It's not police. It's not police. Who is? Who is? Who is? Look, who is the police? Who is the police in Germany? They are Christians too, right? You're fine. What was okay? Let me show you. Let me show you in the front of everybody that you are a, you are a liar and you have no dignity when you speak about your religion. This is the Quran in front of me. Everybody will read and we will see the yeah, Muslim translate the, oh, yeah, the, the, the Muslims the Muslims the the Muslims the translation, my friend, not my translation. I'm not going to read for you my translation, so you will not say he is making okay. things up. This is Yusuf Ali. He is a big scholar for you Muslims. Look what he's saying. Look what he's saying. Look, 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 look what he's saying. Look, this is your Muslim translation. Oh, who you believe. Take not the Jews and the Christians for your friends and protectors. What is your answer? See, protectors. Friends is the wrong translation. Okay, what is that? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is a scholar you approve? What is a scholar you approve? I will open it even in Arabic and get you busted. Name for me a scholar. Name, name for me a scholar you approve. Even in Arabic, I will get you busted right now. Again and well, again and again. Give me a scholar you agree with. Who is busting himself? Give me a scholar. If you are a truthful, give me a name of a scholar he agree with you about the interpretation of this verse that it does not mean a friend. 
your parents teach you to talk with does not don't, don't, you see don't tell me about don't talk about my parents respect your yes. parents respect your parents important. don't mention my parents don't mention my parents my parents don't mention my parents leave your parent your parents alone and my parents alone and let us speak man to man don't, don't be like you see you are talking about women in the street you said you are talking like women in the street you are start now listen give me give me a name of a scholar you approve to explain this verse I, I don't have to. I know the verse. What do you mean you don't have? What do you mean you don't have? What do you mean the scholar? Even the, you cannot find one scholar agree with you. You cannot find one Muslim scholar between all the Muslim scholars agree with you to explain the verse for us. That is a that is a clear sign of hypocrisy and lying. You are getting busted again and again. So which to, which topic you want me to get you busted? I'm getting busted. I'm getting you busted all over. You don't you don't even dare to show me one verse. Okay, what about the chapter nine verse twenty three? Wait, you want what to about show us what about Jesus what about the chapter nine? What we about like what about the chapter listen, nine? Listen, listen, Faraj. What about the chapter nine? I have a question. I have a question. I like because your knowledge is amazing, and I'm serious. I'm really astonished by your knowledge. In chapter nine, verse number twenty-three, it says, "Take not your brothers and father as a friends." Your oh, brother. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Explain to me how you cannot take your brother and your father. Listen, listen. What, listen. what who are they? Your brother and your father for you as a Muslim. Your brother, your brother and your father. Father is your protector in our culture. Okay, Abdul, 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 listen, listen, listen. يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تتخذوا آباءكم وإخوانكم أولياء. What Aulia yes, mean? As protectors, as protectors. Why they can? Why, you, why your brother and your father, you have no relationship with them? Wait, how? What do you mean? I have no relationship with them. Because it says, and the one who have relationship with them, he is one of them. He's a kafir. Uh, if you have a relationship with a kafir, you are a kafir. With your father, with your father and your brother, even your father and your brother, if you have a relationship with them, you are a kafir. If they are kufar or if they are Muslim like you, my friend, my friend, what's wrong with you? Those are people who don't believe in Allah, but they are your brother and your father. Oh, are you allowed to have a friendship with them? Yes or no? And I do oh, friendship. What, what do you mean with friendship? To, be friends, to 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 be friends. Can you have them as a friend? Yes or no? I will not go with them eating, but if I see them and they talk with me, I will talk with them normally. What you, okay, so what the Quran says, you cannot take them as a friends. Oh, well, fine. What do you mean, fine? fine. This is your father and your yeah. brother. This is your father and your brother. Why? Just, just, so, just, why you are saying to me the Christian and the and, you know we, we thought we are brothers? If you cannot even take your brother as a as a friend. That's, wait, that's another situation. <laughs> let's, wait, let's, another situation. In chapter I, I, five, in chapter wait, five, wait, verse fifty-one, it, it's the wait, same wait, situation. Wait. It says very clearly. Take not the Christians and Jews as a friends. Let me explain. If you have a father and he is Christian or Hindu or whatever, yeah. Now I will get Muslim. You know, hmm. there will be problems between us too. That's normal. So, he will tell me why you want to get Muslim. Please stay Hindu. Please stay Jew or whatever. Are are, are aren't you not Hindu? Are 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 you are you not Hindu? I'm not Hindu. No. Are you sure? Because the, the Hindu they kiss a black stone too. Well, fine, okay. No, 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 no. I'm asking you. Obviously, you're a Hindu because the 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 Hindus they have the Shiva stone, which is the private part of stone, and the black stone is the vagina stone. Can you explain to me why the black stone looked like the vagina? <laughs> because the black stone was broken in two CP and it was uh, uh, repaired. What does have to do? Uh, okay, so we repair it. We make it in the shape of a vagina. You are saying so. It was in the shape of a penis before. It was in the shape of what? It was in the it was it became in the shape of a vagina today that's what you are saying but before it was not what was the shape of the black stone before they had to make something to fix it and it had to enclose the whole up first of all first of all the black stone is not two pieces and you are ignorant the black stone is eight it was the black stone is eight is eight pieces let me ask you a question how the black stone broke it was in war okay how it's broke it Muslims attacked Mecca and it was destroyed in this war who? and it was taken away from uh, who is the one who are, are you saying the Muslim they destroy the Kaaba 
it's not, it was a war. Uh, okay, they destroyed the Kaaba, correct? They destroyed the Kaaba, correct? It, it was destroyed, yeah. Okay, is that, the, is, that, is, that, is that the Qurumuti? Is that the Qurumuti who took the black stone and he broke it pieces? <laughs> it's possible, yeah, I don't okay. remember the name. Let, let, me, how, let me ask you then, let me ask you, al Qurumuti, al Qurumuti is not a Muslim. Fine, okay. No problem. He destroyed the black stone and he destroyed the Kaaba. Then how you explain to me there's a chapter in the Quran, it's called the chapter of the elephant. And Allah claimed that when uh, army of uh, Christians came to destroy the Kaaba, Allah He sent an army of birds and they throw rocks at this army, destroy them all. Why Allah did not send His army to destroy the army of Al Qurmati when He destroyed the black stone and He stole it? And actually, He make it as a poopoo stone for more than twenty one years. And He did. Because it, because it was a Muslim army in CP. A second ago, you a second ago you told me they aren't Muslims. A second ago you told me not Muslim. You forgot. A second ago. It, it, a second ago, Muslim, a second ago, and what do you mean a Muslim army? What kind of a Muslim army? What kind of a Muslim army will, ten, will kill 10,000 Muslims around the Kaaba and de destroy the black star, destroy the Kaaba, burn the Kaaba, and and he was the guy, the Qurmuti, was standing in the in the in the in the, uh, I, I, I we, in the Kaaba. Listen, 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 listen. Did, did Al Qurmuti? Did Al Qurmuti say? Did Al Qurmuti stand in the Kaaba, in the top of the Kaaba after he destroyed it? Says, Hey Allah, where is your birds? Where is your birds? Huh? Obviously, he's not Muslim. Allah. He's making fun of Allah. He's making fun of Muhammad because Muhammad he claimed that there is a God who will protect the Kaaba and he will send birds to kill anyone who come close to it. And then this guy he destroyed the Kaaba. He stood in the top of the Kaaba. He took the black stone. He make it a poopoo stone for twenty one years. He's pissing on the stone, and Allah never sent his birds. And do, do you know how they get the black stone back? Listen, this. Do you know how they? You, do you know how you Muslims get the black stone, the stone you are kissing it right now, which Al Qurmati used to piss on it? Do you know how? Do you know how you get the stone back? They paid him a bribe to get it back. They send money to a Hakim bin Allah Al Fatimi to 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 be the middleman so he can agree that he will give the black stone back. What is your Allah? So, wait a moment. Well, wait a moment. So you want to tell me? that uh, in the history of Christianity, Jesus always was here to save Christian armies. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. What you want? No, Jesus, he no, said, no, Jesus, Wait Jesus himself, Jesus himself, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jesus himself was a crucified man, and Jesus himself, he was a crucified. Jesus, he said, if somebody, uh, uh, you know, uh, hit you in the in the right cheek, give him the other one. So don't talk about that. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. So, so listen, listen, listen. How, how come, how come that you and the Hindus, you and the Hindus, both of you, you share, you share a stone. I okay, to bring this you, you see, you see, you see, listen, 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 you are trying to run away from the topic. We, we, we got you, we got you busted again and again. So you cannot be a friend to your father. You cannot be a friend to your brother. But yet you want to lie to me, says we Christians and Muslims are friends. We are not. You want to lie to us, says, you want to lie to us to say that a Muslim, he can take a Christian as a friend when you are not allowed to do that. Okay, let me ask you a question. Are you allowed? Are you allowed? Are you allowed? Are you allowed to lie? Are you allowed? Are you allowed to lie to Christians? Are you allowed to lie to Christians? I am not Shia, CP. I don't. You are Sunni, not Shia. What does that mean? Explain to me, please. What does that mean? You are Sunni, not Shia. Listen, listen. I don't practice taqiyya. That's very simple. But taqiyya is not is not Shia. Shia is not Sunni. It is for both. This is Quran, my friend. The only one who is cultivated the the, the virtue of taqiyya are the Shia, and you should know this. Oh, so, wait, so you refuse to practice taqiyya even though it's in the Quran? Well, listen, taqiyya is only in one reason is when you are uh, under direct threat of your life. If somebody that's has not a true. gun to your that's head, not, that's, 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 not that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Okay, can can a Muslim? Let me ask you. Can a can a okay okay. The, the verse the verse the verse says, "Take not Christians and Jews as awliya." You said everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. You said that word awliya protector. Correct. Is yes, that correct? Protector. Okay, guys, did he say protector? So you how you are under threat, but they want to protect you. So in the chapter in front of us, it says, take not, the, the believer should not take the kafirin as a protectors, but you are saying to me, under threat, only under threat, you can you can, you can can lie. But in that verse, it says, those are people who they are kufar, they want to protect you. So how you are under threat, but they want to protect you? But what you're talking about? The verse we are talking about, the taqiyya. I don't get your point. What do you want to say? With <laughs> My friend, I ask you, what, what awliya mean? You said awliya mean protectors. 
Okay, thank yes, you very sir. much. And now you are saying to me that taqiyya is only allowed if you are under threat. But those are protectors. Yeah, okay. Those I'm are the protectors. Okay. Listen, listen. Those are protectors. So how somebody is protecting you, he is a threat. Well, you you will not. Uh, what? I lost you. I'm not. I'm not hearing. I told you you cannot take a Christian as awliya and tell him uh, afterwards and perform taqiyya on him. You will perform taqiyya on him. When but the my Christian friend, this is the same verse. This is the same verse. It says take take them not uh, as awliya, but you can lie to them. No, 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 no. This is the verse it's, saying. Listen, it's okay, not, it's okay, not about okay. Lying, okay. Hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, I'll, I will I will show everybody. I will show everybody in a second in the front of us. Huh? You are from Egypt, correct? Yeah, uh, originally right. yes, yeah. Okay, originally I am. By the way, I am. I am from China. Now listen. Yeah, I know. I know you from Egypt, uh, CP. I, I I I recognize your accent. Really? I'm okay. I'm so know. glad that you recognize. And I I I like to eat Egyptian food too. I mean, everybody. You see, the Muslims every day they, they recognize an accent of me. Sometimes I am Lebanese. Sometimes I'm an Egyptian. Sometimes I'm Syrian. Sometimes I'm a Saudi. Anyway, intelligence. Okay. Don't change the topic. Okay. Let us not to change the topic. No problem. No problem. Yeah, I know Egyptian, and I know how Egyptians talk in the street. Right. 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 Okay. No problem. You said that the word awliya is a protector and you repeated that hundreds of times. So now you cannot back up and say, I did not say that. Everybody yes. heard you. It's recorded. It is there. Now, this is the official Islamic website of the government of Jordan. And we will go to the tafsir. Oh, and we will go, listen, the, listen, 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 listen. We will go to the tafsir and we will go to the cousin of Muhammad himself explaining the verse for us. Don't tell me that the cousin of Muhammad do not know the meaning let's of continue. the Quran. Let's continue. Let's All right. Continue. Look what he said. You cannot take them as a friends. Huh? And however, look what he said here. Huh? And the one who take them and he is sincere. The one who is sincere, sincere in what? And take them as a friend. Huh? Yeah. He has no connection with Allah. He has no honor with Allah. He had no mercy, no protection from Allah, which means he will be killed if he is sincere, unless, unless it, it be that you guard yourself against them, save yourself from them by speaking, by taking as it were security, saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them, while your heart dislike this and you are the one who said that awliya mean protection so those okay. are people who want to protect you so, so you want to what, how you want to how you, you so you protect, save you how you save yourself you hold on hold on protection. how you save yourself by lying to them when your heart is just like this by taking them as a friend but not with sincerely which means you are not sincere so the quran teaching you that you can take them as a friend as long as you are lying to them you say to them, I am your friend, we are friends, we love each other, you know, Christians, Muslims, you know, we are together, we worship you, the same God. This CP, my friend, it's in, it's in the front of you, it's in the front of you, it's in the front of you, it's in the front of you. This is not my interpretation. This is the interpretation. Uh, listen, Abdul, Abdul, this is what Islam believe. For me, I have no problem to take anyone as a friend. Jesus, okay, did not, Jesus, Jesus said to me, love your enemy. Listen. Jesus said, love your enemy. Your Quran, your Quran said to you, you cannot take your your brother, your father as a friend. Your Quran saying to you, you, you are allowed to lie to me, speak in a friendly way, while your heart is like this. Do you know what the Bible says about this? One second. One Do you know second. what the Bible so says about that? I was the, the, Bi I was the Bible says, God, the Bible, I, let, let me read for you this verse. The verse, this verse, I love it. This verse, my friend, this verse, I love it. Don't you want to read for you a verse from the Bible? My, 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 my Bible says about you as a Muslim and about your prophet, about your religion. He said the following. Okay. You are of your father the devil and the lust of your father you will do. And that's why you are teaching people to lie to us, saying that you are friend to us, but your okay. heart is just like this. Now, now you made your point, right? You made your point that Muslims lie to Christians. I did not make a point. I prove it. I did prove it. Okay, okay. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. <laughs> then I ask you this. I was raised in Islam. I was born in Islam and I have many family members who are Muslims in Egypt and in the place I live hmm. and never ever see me 
One of them told me, don't take Christians as friends. So, so what? Uh, that's that's mean you have a good family, my friend. That's mean your family are good people. That's, 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 yeah. uh, listen, listen. Okay, you are you are just telling me that your mother is a good person and your father is a good person. That's all. But Islam teaching you this. I'm talking about Islam, not about your family. But my, uh, Faraj, Faraj, I'm, I'm, am I here? Am, am I here? Am I here? Am I, I listen, listen. Are we here to talk about your family or my family or talking about well, this Islam teaching? It's how Muslims get raised. No, most of you, most of you Muslims, you have no idea. Most of you Muslims have no idea. If you know what Islam is about, you will not be a Muslim for a second. That's this this is why you Muslims, do you Muslims, you Muslims, you know, I don't know if you are lying to me or not because I don't believe you because you did lie to me already many times and I got you busted. So now if you say to me, my, my parents never said that to me, how I know this is true? How, how I know that this is true? Okay, how come, how come your parents do not know that when the Quran in front of you? I lie to you in what CP? You and in everything from the beginning, from the beginning until now, everything you said, I got your busted with it. It's recorded. You can watch it later. Now let me ask you. Your your parents never. Your, your parents. Okay, let me ask you. Be honest with me. You, let me ask you. Be be honest with me. Your parents they never heard a Sharawi in Egypt. Listen, Sharawi is Sufi. If you know exactly. What okay, hold on. Your parents they never read the books of Tafsir Ibn Abbas or Al Jalalain or Al Qurtubi. You know damn well that most Muslims don't know this book. So why you are you telling me? So why you are telling me? Why you are telling me those are Muslims? Those are Muslims by birth. I'm talking about Islam. Listen, listen. So what you are saying to me? My parents they do not know anything about Islam. This is why they taught me you can be a friend to the Christian. Thank you very much. But if they read those books, they will know that Islam teaching you the opposite. Listen, listen. Most of these books were created way after Islam was. I'm reading the Quran. I'm reading the Quran. Muslim, you know this. Two hundred years after the establishment of Islam, who knows which uh, which uh, uh, which hadith is really a true hadith or not? Even with the chains of narration. Okay, let me ask you. you. Okay, okay. So, so, okay. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. The Quran is it? Is the Quran a true book or not? Yeah, sure it is. All right. Does the Quran teach you to kill the Christians? Not every Christian. Uh, Some Christians only. Like uh, who? the unbelievers, you know, and it's who? in who? more time. Who, 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 who is the Christian? Okay, who is the Christians the Quran teach you to, to kill? Who is the Christians Quran teach you to kill? Well, uh, at the time of Sayyidina Muhammad, there were already Christians and Nasara. I know. And Jews okay, why he want to kill, the... kill them? Why he want to kill them? Why he want to kill them? Why he wanted to kill them? Because many people attacked him. And he, okay, name for uh, me. Name for me one Christian. No, himself, name for me one Christian you know? that attacked Muhammad. Name for me one Christian that attacked Muhammad. One Christian by himself who attacked him? Any name, any famous name. Who? Who is the Christian that attacked Muhammad? Who? Well, I cannot tell you one name, but ah, there was the you cannot tell me one name. Okay, let me ask yeah. you. Let me ask you. Did your prophet he said attack the Christians so you can get the blonde girls? What? Attack the Christians, attack the Romans, so we can get the blonde girls. Oh, that's bullshit. Steve. Okay, okay, bullshit. I agree. It's a bullshit. This is what your prophet said. This is why it's bullshit. I agree. Thank you very much for saying that. This is bullshit. Yeah. You are right. Yeah. Now, yeah. listen, so listen, to? listen. What if I show it to you in front of you in the screen right now as we speak? What you would do? Wait, wait, wait. Like if I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, shouldn't, shouldn't you, shouldn't you, shouldn't you, shouldn't, shouldn't you challenge me, shouldn't you challenge me to show you? To show you what? To show me to what? To show you the, that your prophet, he said that? Should, why you don't challenge me? Yes. This hadith? Yeah. Let's show me, let's uh, tell me this hadith. Okay, here we go. It was narrated by who? Hold on. I'm just getting it for you. Yeah, fine. And I will show it to you on the screen. So you can read with me. All right. This is Tafsir al Qur'an Tabari. Can we, by the way, as we finish speaking? I don't hear you. I don't hear you. Okay. Speak. What? Do you report this whole uh, this is This is Tafsir al Tabari. Discussion. Can you send me a copy of it? Okay, hold on. Tafsir al Tabari. Tafsir al Tabari. All right. This yeah, is Tafsir Surat al Tawbah. I will go down and I will show you the page number. You see the page number? 287. Page number 287. Okay. All right. Look, go on. hadith number 16786. Six. Let me repeat again. Okay. Take a note, please. That's okay. 16786. One, okay. one, 
786 حدثنا القاسم قال حدثنا الحسين قال حدثني حجاج قال عن 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 ابو جريج عن مجاهد دوس ار تراست فورثي ثقات قالوا قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اغزوا تغنموا بنات الاصفر يعني نساء الروم What do you say about that? Attack the Roman, okay. attack, okay. attack, you will get the blonde the girls. And he meant by that, Allah. the women of the Roman. Okay, okay. why okay. Why a prophet of God, he is encouraging his men to kill Christians so they can get their women who they are blonde. Like when the Israelites uh, attacked the Holy Land and slew the Midianites and who, whoever else they slew. So, well, so the, the, the Jews, they, they attacked there to get the blonde girls? <laughs> they they only took the virgins. I'm sorry. No, my no, friend. No, my friend. Go virgins. read. Yeah. You you go read. It says they did to them the same as they did to them, which means those people they attacked them and they attacked them back. Bullshit. 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 So okay. you want to tell uh, you me know, as long you are quoting me. for me, why you don't read the yeah, chapter? I, the I, chapter. I, the I, chapter I, there in the front of I, you. I, Come I, on. I, you see, I, you I, have no I, idea. I, you I, you Muslims, you are copy paste of each other. Your prophet, he is the one he's attacking the Roman. Your prophet, he sent a letter to the king of the Roman. Listen, your did your prophet send? Did your prophet send a letter to the king of the Romans saying to them, "Aslam, Taslam, convert to Islam, you will be safe. I will not kill you." Yes or no? It happened long ago, and today, uh, CP, we have different rules. You know, <laughs> it's written in the Quran. But so, we have so you admit it. You admit it that your God, Muhammad, he was attacking yeah. his neighbors just to get women, and he liked blonde well, women. So Islam no, no, is about not, attacking not, neighbors. So, you just that's, that's, what that's, that's, you, wait, you, you that's admitted you you admitted that you're, you're, you admitted that listen listen faraj listen like listen you, faraj no you, you, you know you know faraj faraj i will give you i will give you a chance i will give you a chance to do something different you see uh, uh, we we have since we start talking that everybody is is uh, like uh, as if we have a fight so i'm going to listen to you and i will give you 3 minutes to give me a reason for anyone to be a Muslim. And I, I warn you, I warn you, everything you say after you finish your three minutes, you you will be sorry for it. So think carefully, okay? okay? Three minutes, guys. I'm giving a chance to this Muslim Listen, to I give us a reason. Mean, no, no, hold, 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 don't talk yet, don't talk yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Faraj. I give you three minutes, just wait. People, listen, be my witness. I'm asking you to think carefully. And to be smart, three minutes okay. to give me a reason for anyone to be a Muslim. So you need to give me the best of the reasons. You want to talk about Quran miracles? I don't know. You could talk about anything you want. Three minutes. Okay. Why somebody want to be a Muslim? Yours. It's your three minutes. I'm listening. Listen, CP. I am reasons. There is one God, one Creator of the heaven and the earth. The God of Abraham and Moses and Isaac and Ishmael, you know, mm -hmm. this is the God I follow. And we as Muslims believe that if you follow the one true God and if you try to perform a good life and don't do uh, bad things, you know, crimes and drugs and stuff like this, mm -hmm. you have the chance to enter heaven. You know, there is a, a relationship between you and Allah directly, nobody between you. You can talk with him in the morning, in the evening, in your uh, break, whenever you like. Allah is always here for you. And many times he helped me and hear my prayers, CP. Mm -hmm. You know, that's it. I am Muslim because I believe in the one true God and I follow him with all my heart and with all my soul. Done? Are you and done? All, all bad talking and all cursing and all I don't know what, it's okay. You can do what you want. But that's what we Muslims believe, you know. And I telling you again, and I'm telling this with all honesty and with all truth of my heart. I don't hate Christians. I was not raised to hate Christians. And I never heard one Muslim telling me, Farak hate Christians and don't they take them as friends or whatever. Never. Not in one mosque, not in, not, not by anybody, not even family members who are Ikhwan told me like this, you know? Mm. Are you done? That's CP. Yeah, okay, thank you very much. Guys, did he say, did we heard him saying that he believed in one God, the creator? So how you explain to me the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators? What the best of the creators? What do you mean? Allah is the best of the creators in the Quran. 
creator, creator. He's the best no, creator. Creators, creator. creators, creators. He did not say how, creator. How it's, how it's spelled in Arabic? Al Khaliqin. The best of the creators. What do you want to tell me with this? And I tell you, okay, who if, you, who if, you, if you are a Muslim, thank, thank you very much. We will go to that one and we will laugh at it too. Because Qulhu Allahu Ahad in Arabic means say Allah is one of. Ahad is not mean Wahid. And you speak Arabic and I speak Arabic. So your God Allah need to be sent to school. In chapter 37, verse number 125, it says, Baalan wa al are you going to seek Baal, pray to Baal, and forsake the best of the creators? You told me that Allah is the creator. So how he say he is the yes. best of the creators, if there's only one creator? Listen, listen. listen. Maybe what, uh, what, what, what uh, this wants to say is that people before Allah had many gods, you know, they prayed to this my God. Friend, to that my God, friend, my friend, no, they, this not maybe. This it says, false it, gods, it says it clearly, it's, false it says it clearly, he is the best. God. What do you mean maybe? Allah is talking here. Allah is yes, the best of the creators. Okay. Allah is the Ulu best Allah. of the creators. Okay. Allah is the best of the creators. How many creators there is? Well, listen, no Muslims believe there is more than one creator. Okay, so are you saying to me that Allah did lie when he said he is the best of the creators? Uh, no. It, but, but so no, how he can be the best of the creators if there's no other creators? If I say I am the best student in school, and later you find out that I am the only student well, in school. No Muslim believe in more than one it creator. doesn't matter. I'm asking you, I'm asking you, is that a mistake in the Quran then? When he say he is the best of the creators, but there's no creators. Okay, Allah saying he is the best, he is lying to us. When Allah he says he is the best of the creators, was he lying or making a true statement? Look, look, whatever Allah says, it's true. And he have his reasons to say whatever so he says. What do you mean reason? Give me the reason. What reason? This guy, obviously, he's, 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 maybe he's drunk. How he say he is the best of the creators, but he is not. But there's no creators. Okay, how I say, listen, if I say to you, my TV is the best TV, but then later you learn that there's only one TV, which is the one in my bedroom in the whole world. That's when I'm lying. I'm, you know, like, if, like, I, if you say, if you say, my car is the best car, and then we find, like, if you say, listen, Faraj, 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 oh, hold on, hold on. If you say, if you say, if you say, my donkey, my donkey, my donkey is the best donkey in Egypt, and then we find that in Egypt, everybody have donkey. So what does that mean? You are lying. I'm going to answer you again. We believe only in one God. We don't. So why he says he is the best of the creators? Who is the other creator then? You understand you you do you don't understand this verse right? That's that is explain. I'm asking you. I'm asking you, Faraj. I'm asking you how he say he's the best of the creator. If there's no creator, that's mean he's lying. If I say I am, if I okay, if I am say I am the best. Uh, uh, listen, if I am saying, if I say I am the best student in the country, and the whole country have only one student, is, isn't it a lie? What's your TP? What's your point? What's your point? You don't what say you the say? word best unless there's others like you. So okay. Allah is but the best of who? There is more Allah, 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 Allah is the best of who here? What is the word to compare to? The cre creators. So when Allah, he says he is the best of the creators, to, he compare himself to who? Do you know? Do you know in this verse, he's comparing himself to who? To who? To Baal. Do you know who's Baal? Come on. Yeah, I know who's Baal. Okay. Stop it. So, okay. So, 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 uh, so Allah, he is saying, but he is better than Baal. Is that correct? Uh, he's a million times better than Baal. Sure, okay. he's a million times better but than he, any. But, false but he God. says he is the best and uh, best than Baal in what exactly? In everything. No, 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 he no, no. He, no, no, no. He said why? No, 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 no. He mentioned one thing. He mentioned one thing. He is the best than Baal in one thing. In the verse it says in creation, creators. So he is the best of the creators. So Baal is a creator and Allah is a creator. The first person in history that interprets that at this verse like this CP. I never heard this interpretation before. I'm not, I'm not giving you interpretation. Allah is saying he is the best of the creators. Okay, listen. Yeah, you, uh, okay, are you are you the best? Are you be, are you the best at work? Let us say you, yes. When you say I am the best between all the employees at work, it's mean you are the same as the rest of the employees, correct? But you are the best. Is that correct? I don't. I don't get. Okay. If let us say you are a teacher. Let us say you are a teacher. Okay. And then you say I am the best teacher. That's mean. There's no. many teachers, no. there's many teachers, right away automatically, there's many teachers, but you are the best between them. Do you agree? Uh, well, whatever, what do you want to say? No, 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 do you agree or you not? Say yes or no. If you say I am the best well, teacher, that means there's many teachers and you are just one of them, but you are better than them, correct? 
could you get to the point, please? Make I'm it asking you, do you agree or not? Well, I don't agree. You, why you don't agree? So how how you say I'm the best? How you how you say I am the best teacher if there's no other teachers? Listen, listen. You're 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 jumping around the word and try to make it uh, mean something that it doesn't. Okay, let mean. me ask that's, you. Let me it. let let me ask you. Let me ask you. Allah asked you to yeah. worship someone. He do what? What what is the requirement for a person to be follow? To be what? To, to be worshipped according to Islam. A person, a person is never worshipped in Islam. CP. Well, Allah is a person. No, Allah is no person. Are Allah you sure? Is God. Okay, so how how Muhammad he said that your God Allah is not our. He is not one eyed. How many eyes well, do God Allah have? Now you will get to this point, and you will say the 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 the, the uh, Messiah Dajjal has uh, one leg, and I don't know what. That's that's all nonsense, CP. So, we all know God has so no. Are, uh, so are you uh, saying your prophet? Are you saying your prophet? He no is okay. Are you object, are you right? insulting Muhammad, saying that this does not make sense because the one who came with the story this of the Dajjal? You what? have to understand this. No, 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 no. Let, uh, let me read for you. No, let, let me read for you. Let me read for you. This is a Sahih. Listen, listen. This is a Sahih Hadith in the front of your eyes. Your wow. God, your your Prophet, he said, "Inni wa hadithukum anid Dajjal, hath hatta khashitu an la taqilu. Inna al Masih al Dajjal, rajul qasir afhaju, jad aawar matmus al ain, leesa binatiya binatiya wala wala jahra. Fa in albasa alaykum fa lamu an Rabbakum leesa bi aawar." Let us translate. You should know. Let us make it short. You, you, should, you should know. You should know that your God is not. Is, uh, your God is not one eyed. Huh? But how he started, he said, "The Antichrist. The Antichrist. I'm afraid that you will be confused. Confused about what? Confused about Allah and the Antichrist. Who is the Antichrist? Antichrist is a man. He's a man." Well. Listen, listen, the Antichrist can perform miracles and he can show no many problem. things. No problem, but he is talking about who, the look. He is not talking about miracles. He never mentioned the word miracle. He is talking about the look. We you should know. know. We all know. You should know. Okay, so based in the Hadith, yes. based in the Hadith, your God, Allah, is a short. He have a curly hair. He's fat. Yeah. He have a big okay. ass. Now, uh, but, now again, but, I will tell you, but, not but, every listen, Hadith listen, is true. My friend, it's a Sahih. It's a Sahih. Read with me. 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 Guys, does it say in the screen that this Hadith is Sahih? Everybody can see it. Sahih. But even even if the if the hadith. It is Sahih. Is the is meaning sahih. of it can be a regoli, allegorical. Uh, what? Uh, no, he is talking about no. He is talking about the look and the shape and the hair. What allegorical? Okay. What is the metaphorical of our? What what the metaphorical of our, of our hair? Like when, the, this is a guy. The Messiah had the jal. It's like the Messiah had the jal is a man. Is he a man or not? He have a hair. You have eyes. It's like you have, okay. So it, why he is comparing the ass answer. of this man? Why your prophet comparing the ass of this man to uh, to the ass of Allah? If Allah has no ass, okay. why he's comparing now, the hair of this man? If Allah have no hair, why he's okay. comparing the eyes of this okay. man? If Allah have no you eyes, gave, you gave your point. Let me give me my point. Hmm. In the Bible, there are many things who describe dragons and have feet from bronze and hmm. uh, I don't know what. Is this everything? written like uh, allegorical too you have to understand this no in a no meaning no okay well listen you see you see we we when we speak to muslims we don't give our own interpretation i can go right now and we can find your interpretation for this hadith okay i asked you before do you remember do you, do you remember do you remember do you remember do you remember when i asked you name for me one a cleric one scholar you agree with and you refuse to give me one well, it didn't come in one in my mind. Uh, ah, from the millions of scars, you could not find me one. You're right, right. What, what about Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Jalalain, Ibn Kathir? Five. I can remind okay. you. Okay, all Five. of them they agree that this is the look of the Messiah, the, the false Messiah. This is not a metaphorical thing. This is real, and Allah is not one eyes. And I can right away pray for you. Tons of videos on YouTube. Wait, tons of videos on YouTube speaking about Allah. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Do Allah? Do Allah? Have, do Allah have legs? No, he don't. Who told you and that? If he have, it's not legs like we can imagine, you know. Oh, so his legs is different? If, if he has. Do yeah. he have legs or not? The question is, do he have legs or not? Well, if I told you, if he has. Don't tell me if. Legs. I'm asking. I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I want to learn from you. Do Allah have a leg? Yes or no? Not human legs. Okay, not a human leg. Spider doesn't matter. He have a legs. Why Allah have legs? Yeah, who knows what the what the uh, leg of God is like? Uh, ah, this is another question. This is another question. Why he need legs if he is God? You see, Jesus, he came to Earth. He walk with legs in the shape of a man. So we understand why he have legs. Why Allah in heaven he have legs? He want to play soccer? He want to play football? Or he want to kick ass of somebody? Why he have legs? 
So you want to tell me that? Uh, why? Why? Like no, listen. Why he had I, legs? I, I, Is he a human? Is your God Allah a human? No, he's no human. So why he have legs? Why he have? We have legs. What he will do with the legs? That, that only God knows what God knows what he does. Okay, with God so how you it. say how you Muslim you say that your God Allah is not a man But yet he have a leg so you are saying to me. He's a beast I, I, How many legs he honest, have how, how many legs he have wait, how many honest, how many before, How many legs he have Allah how many wait, legs he have? Uh, I do. Never how many legs Allah how many legs anybody that's, that's no, the, even the Quran says that why am I actually for unsock and you down in this Judy for I start your own my friend you are talking to someone who knows Islam and all the way deep. And I know so, my dean also very well. No, you do not. No, you do not. And no, no Muslim. Let me let me tell you something. Uh, nobody, there's no qualified Muslim in this earth can debate me. And I assure you that. And I challenge you to bring me a Muslim. He can debate me. None of you. None of you. None of you. Nobody can debate me. So don't play games with me. So you just admitted. You just admitted that your God Allah have a leg. I'm asking you all what you are saying. Your God Allah legs is not like mine. Who care? This is not the topic. No, no, he have. He have. The Hadith says. The Quran says. Though the scholars they say so. He have a face. He have hands. He have five fingers. He have five fingers. Let me ask you what he would do with his fingers. What he would do with his fingers. Why Allah have why Allah have five fingers? What he would do with them? Yeah, uh, yeah. CP, if yeah. you are this great scholar, you are pretending to be. Why I never see you discussing big scholars in TV like Shabir Ali or somebody. Shabir like Ali is an idiot. Shabir, I do not even know how the Quran, how to read the Quran. This guy is a scholar. He ran away from me. Go, okay, go, go and ask him. Go and ask him. A, B, N. This casual debate between me and him and the guy when he learned that this is a Christian prince, he said he sent an email. The email is with B, A, B, N. He said, "I am busy with my PhD. Thank you very much. Later, later, maybe." He ran away. He ran away. He, he is a he is a potato. He is a potato. Zach and Naik, he ran away from me. So let me ask you a question. Can you find me a Muslim? He dared to debate me. I'm talking with you. You, you are know. not. You are not. You have no answer. Since I we started, you are getting getting shower from the from the beginning. I want a, I want a Muslim. He can stand I, for me. Listen, I have no answer. I, I every question you give me, I'm answering you. That's and, I, and every answer you give me, I got you busted with. So now let us go back to the question: Why Allah have legs? Listen, Allah have no legs. CP. I told you, you just you said, so. If, you if, said so. You said if, so. If, you said so. You said you said you said Allah legs is not like our legs. Allah legs is not our leg. It is what you said. Allah legs is not like our leg. So he have a leg. He have a hand. He have. He have. Okay. The Quran in front of us. He said, and the Hadith says the the, the, the Muslim they said to Muhammad, Are we going to see Allah in the judgment day? And this is a Sahih Hadith. He said yes. They said how we will see him to make the Hadith short. It's long. He said. How we will recognize him? He said, Allah will come to you in, a, in an image different from the image which you know, in a shape different from the shape which you know. And then you will say to him, we seek refuge against thee. You are not Allah. And we seek refuge to Allah from you, which means Muslim consider Allah shaitan, just because he changed his shape. Maybe he come to them in a Halloween form, or maybe he is coming as a Santa Claus. So then Allah, he come to them and he will say, he will come back to the original shape and he will show himself. And then the Muslim, they will recognize him. The Muslim they said to the Prophet, how we will recognize him? He said he will go and show his shin. So you Muslims will recognize your God from his legs. How you recognize Allah from his leg? If this is written in the Quran, it should it should be true. Fine. So why you are saying to me that this is Allah doesn't have legs? I said if it's written in the Quran. Okay, why Allah then? Let us go back from zero then. Why Allah have legs? Well, it will have his reasons. Allah have his okay. Reasons. Do, do Allah walk or he fly? Do Allah walk or he fly? <laughs> Allah I doesn't. I don't know, CP. That's a stupid question. Okay, Nobody why? Knows why? Okay, so what is the point of a, when I say a leg? What does that mean exactly? Do you know what legs mean? Uh, listen, for us, a leg is a leg where we walk with and sing like this. Correct. So Allah, he have, who, who, who is the one? Who, a leg. Okay. Listen, a who leg is the one who call it leg? Allah. Allah, he it could called. be something, yeah, oh. but it could be something totally different, CP. Oh, no. And it's a childish point to uh, ride on it, you know. What no. you want to tell me with this, my friend? The hadith in the front that of we us, as Muslims, the hadith wait, in the front of us, describe Allah. That we Muslims believe in the body of Allah, yes, you do. You do okay. This is why this is why this, this is why, this okay? is why the had, Muhammad he said that when Allah he come to you in a shape. Okay, Mujassim, listen, listen, Mujassim, <laughs> believe in this what you are telling me. We are not Mujassim. My friend, you are a Mujassim. You are a Sunni. No, you? we are not. Mujassim. Are you a Sunni no, or not? No, no, no. Are you a Sunni or Shia? 
Yeah, I'm Sunni, but not all Sunni. All just, Sunni believe in that. No, all Sunni believe in that. And I challenge That's you. That's not true. All That's Sunni. Not true. Otherwise, they are not Sunni. You know, a second That's ago, not, a, second, a second ago, you told me, listen, a second listen, ago, you told listen. me there's someone, he is a, he's a, he's a, what you, you said to me, Sufi. Is a Sufi, is a Sunni? Okay, can I ask you something, CTF? <laughs> all this. No, talk listen, 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 all listen. This, wait, so, wait, Allah, wait, let us finish this one. Let us finish this one. Allah, no, Allah, in the Quran. The time. Allah in the Quran. Allah in the Quran. Allah in the Quran. He have legs. He have hands. He have face. He have eyes. So Allah is a physical. Is Allah a physical being? Is Allah spirit? Is, what you say? Is Allah a physical being or a spirit? Final, final. Before you give me the question, no problem. Is Allah a physical being or a spirit? Let me. I answered so many questions. Is Allah? Oh, the finish. We will finish. We will finish. Is Allah a physical being or he's a spirit? Listen, I, I have to get up very early tomorrow. No problem. Uh, Answer me before you go. Is Allah a physical no, being or no, he's a spirit? I, 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 no, I, I insist. I insist. I want to know. It's a final because the, the whole discussion have to end with this. You can ask okay, me the okay. question. No problem. But tell me. Simple. Okay. Is he a physical being or a spirit? Is Allah a spirit or he's a physical being? He is not a spirit or a physical being. So what Allah he is? is guys, how, how in the world does God can be God, but he is not a spirit, he is not a physical being? This means he's nothing. Listen, no, God is something we cannot <laughs> Let me ask you, no. let me ask you, is the Quran is created by Allah or not? Is the Quran created by Allah or not? Is the Quran created? Is the Quran created? How it was dictated by Allah, no, no. But not created. Was, uh, was it a create? Oh, okay, yeah, create. You created. You create the Quran. The Quran was exist no, before. Dictated. Okay, the Quran was with no, okay, Listen, dictated, dictated. No problem. The, the question is very simple. The, the, the question is very simple. Was the yeah. Quran created? Yes or no? Was the Quran created? Yes or no? Well, yeah, we humans wrote it. Yeah, we compiled it. How it's now? I'm yeah. not talking about the book. I'm talking about the Quran, which Allah He sent to Muhammad. Is that message, created or not? Yeah, the message itself was. Uh, okay, go right uh, now, my friend. So it, go right yeah, now. Go right now to Google, and you will see all the Muslim Sunni fatwa that anyone believe the Quran is created, he should be beheaded. So you are an apostate yes. now. No, you see what I say. I, I you think are an say. apostate. We wrote, no. Allah. I ask you, I ask you the question was clear. clear. You, I said, the Quran which Allah sent to Muhammad, not the book, not the book in your hand. Was that the created? Okay, let us go back from, from zero. Allah said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Is that a created? Is that a created or this is not a created? I answered many questions now. Now answer. So you will not answer. So Allah is not a spirit. Allah is not. Allah is a body. Allah is not a spirit. So he's a dead body. Allah. Spirit or this or that. I told you Allah is more than that. And now answer please one question with me, CP. Go ahead. We are 1.8 million billion Muslims on this world. I guess approximately. Does that include the Christians? Well, I think so. So how no, you, how you count how you count the Muslims in Egypt? You count all, everybody there except uh, including the Christian, right? You you count all the Christians in in Pakistan. You count all. Uh, this is what the Muslims do. You see, yesterday, 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 the number was one point four. So overnight became one point eight. Next week you will come to me and you will say we are two billion. Let me tell you the news, my friend. Let me tell you the news. If the number will make a difference, huh? Let finish you. The Hindus, the Hindus is more. Why you are mentioning to me the number? We are twice more than you. So what that? Who care? Okay, listen, it's not the number. What I want to tell you is this. There are many Muslims and there are many Christians on this world. Mm. We must find a way to live together. We cannot hate each other and only... So, what, so okay, why, why the Quran in chapter 5 verse 14 says Allah will spread hate and enmity between the Christians? Listen, this was a time long ago. No, it doesn't say, okay, so at that time, you, at that time, your God, Allah, is going to spread the hate between the Christians. No, this is not true. The Quran, let me, let me get you busted again. Let me get you busted before you go. The, the verse says, the verse says, the verse says, the verse says, until the judgment day, while you are lying again, until the judgment day. And tell that, listen, listen. I, I cannot take a liar. Sorry, sorry. I have, I have to, I have to get you busted. I cannot handle it. Why you, don't want, you said you, know, you said you Allah spread hate against the Christian at that time? This is not what the Quran said. Read for me, read for me, read for me, read for me. Chapter 5, verse 14. No, 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 no. Oh, people of the book, read, read. Let us laugh together at the lies and the liars. Oh, people of the book. Huh? Listen, look, I saw it five years old, and he does the same. Listen, 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 listen. 
Look what your God Allah is saying. Look, look what your God is saying. We so we string them with hate, with with enmity and hatred between one to each other until yes. the judgment day, until the judgment day, until the judgment day. This is your Quran. So why you are lying to me, saying this is to me? This is was at that time. We must find a way to live together. This is not the question. I don't care about you live with me. Listen, Abdul. I don't care you want to live with me or not. This is not my business. I am here, a person who studies Islam. I am here to get your prophet busted. Your your prophet is a liar, and this is what I'm doing here. So now you you are liar. You are a liar like your prophet. You told me that Allah spread hate between the Christians only at that time when the verse says in front of us until the judgment day. So the question: What kind of God he want to spread hate between the Christians when you are the one as asking me to live as a friend? This is hypocrisy. This is a lie. This is this is a religion of the devil and you are trying to fool us playing that you are a victim playing that you are a nice guy you what about you were santa claus come to me at santa claus huh you you are you santa claus so if you are santa claus how come your god say this if you are santa claus if you are a person who believe in love and harmony and to be friends how allah he says the christians are the worst of, of the creatures allah they are your enemy i will spread hate between them until the judgment day what kind of god he will spread hate between us christians until judgment day listen nobody spreads anything the only hate spread my friend the quran in front of you the only hate listen spread don't be stupid Faraj, don't no. be stupid. Don't be stupid. Chapter so five, chapter five, verse number fourteen. Cha chapter five. My listen. Am I am, am I am I am I quoting for you a verse? Am am I quoting you a verse, or I'm showing you my own statement? This is wrong. Saying I will spread, saying I will spread the hate until the judgment day. Until the judgment day. Until the judgment day. Do you know what until judgment day means? Who shock you? But it's not about shocking. It's about to find a way. To act as humans together, CP. Do you believe in you? Do you believe the Christians are human? Yeah, of course. So are. why the Quran says they are the same as an am? They are animals. They, the Quran talks about the specific kind of people, not all Christians. My friend, not all humans. My friend, you are a say liar. say hi to your parents and good night. I'm done with you.